Guys, winter is coming, which means Christmas season will soon be upon us, which means it'll also be nutcracker season. I grew up going to the nutcracker every year with my family, so it was kind of a fond memory and was always stunning to watch. So in honor of that, I thought it'd be fun to make a ballet core video and explore that aesthetic. disclaimer you definitely don't have to have a defined aesthetic to have a good style but i honestly think having your own personal style is really cool i personally just like a lot of elements from ballet core so that's why i wanted to make this video anyways let's get on into the video to start what is ballet core well, I have a little definition for you. Ballet core fashion draws from staple ballet attire, including but not limited to bodysuits, wrap tops, tulle, skirts, tights, leg warmers, the list goes on and on. It's an escape into the ballet world and a focus on casual rehearsal looks, making it easy for all to enjoy. In my opinion, you don't really have to be a dancer or dress exactly like a ballerina to enjoy ballet core. I think it's more about adding feminine details into your outfits, such as ribbons, bows, leg warmers, pastel pink, everything the list goes on and on so i really think that you can kind of incorporate ballet core into whatever style you have and just add little details here and there i feel like the color scheme of ballet core is very important i went into my wardrobe already and i kind of found everything that was either pastel pink pastel blue and darker colors like black and then some lighter whites and creams and i laid them out to kind of plan my outfits from there but yes that's how i would define ballet core and i think Think that you can find a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, and it's a really easy one to get into. So let's jump right into it. You guys, I did want to do a quick haul before going into the lookbook because I did get some pieces that really remind me of ballet core this weekend and I'm really excited about them. I would get these pieces no matter what. It wasn't specifically for this video. I really just loved them and I think they go perfect with this aesthetic even though that's not really what matters. But let me show you real fast anyways. First of all, I got this cute pastel pink jacket from Target. I know I'm already kind of wearing a pink sweater, but to me this is different. Um, I just thought this looked so cute and my husband said it looks like it's like a figure skater getting ready to warm up and that is honestly so fun for me on a hey, love you. I wish I could ice skate. And then this is probably one of the things I'm most excited about. Let me go grab them. Ta-da! If you've been on my TikTok, you've most definitely seen these UGG platform boots. I am so pumped for them, you guys. I never thought I would be someone to get into Uggs ever because in high school I swore I would never ever wear them. But honestly, they are so cute and I think the platform is what really did it for me to make me get more back into them. I will do anything for a platform shoe, you guys know. I think the color is also just perfect and goes so well with pink, so I'm really pumped to style these as well in this lookbook. The other thing I got is, oh, they're already in my ears, are little heart earrings. And I don't know if you guys can see, they are gold, which I think is really fun to style with pink as well. And I feel like they are really simple and dainty and just perfect for this lookbook. So I just want to show you guys those few things because I'm really, really pumped about them. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into the lookbook. When I first think of ballet core, I think of pink everything. Pink skirts, pink ribbons, pink tops, pink shoes. Pastel or baby pink is the new it color. It must be said, it must be said. I have been wearing this particular outfit for days on end just because I love the silhouette so much. I feel like it's the right amount of baggy on baggy. And the color scheme is exactly what I want. I love the pastel pink with the white, with the brown Ugg boots. I just think it all comes together for that ballet core look, you know? But I also love how casual and wearable it is for everyday life. Ribbons are definitely a ballet core must. And guys, this trend is so easy to recreate. Literally, just go to Walmart, buy some ribbon, tie it in your hair real cute, and you got it. And if you want to get real creative, you can put ribbons anywhere. Um, I really like tying them around my neck like a necklace. It's kind of fun, a little detail. This outfit right here is actually one of my favorites in the video just because I think it incorporates so much of ballet core. Actually, the skirt, I just think the way it moves on camera especially is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of a ballerina a little bit. Leg warmers are such a simple way to spice up any outfit. 
I personally love styling them with short skirts, but I've seen people do all sorts of things with them. You could style them with leggings or shorts or even use them as arm warmers. The opportunities are endless. I also really like having my leg warmers with a chunky platform boot of some sort. And I got to put my little chunky Uggs to good use for this video. I really like the way the leg warmer lays over the boot, and it's absolutely perfect for winter. While on the subject of leg warmers, there's so many shoes you can use for this aesthetic, whether it's Uggs or little heels, or of course, ballet flats. I definitely feel like ballet flats are controversial in the fashion world. Some people love them, some people hate them, and I get it. I definitely have a trauma from the 2010 fashion ballet flats too, I understand. But if styled right, I do think ballet flats can look chic instead of outdated. I like doing that by pairing my ballet flats with dainty, fancier pieces. For example, I paired it with this silk dress to dress it up a little that bit. That way it leans more into ballet core and Pinterest girl instead of maybe middle school me, perhaps. Another great accessory for ballet core are sleeves or wraps. They are some of the best layering pieces and can really take your outfit up a level. I wear these sleeves a lot on my Instagram and TikTok and in everyday life, so I'm kind of obsessed if you can't tell. But yes, this is one of my favorite looks in everyday life. I especially wear it with a tank top and cargo pants all the time. I feel like in a way it's my version of athleisure where it's kind of comfy and casual, but it feels cool girl-esque. And I did try pairing my knit sleeves with this corset, and I don't know if I'm in love with this look, but I do think the corset does add more of a ballet core element to it, so that was kind of fun. Also, RIP to the giant rip in my sleeve. It's so sad. RIP. My last little outfit I wanted to show you guys is very casual, but it is what I usually wear most days. As an accessory to perhaps make it a little more ballet core, I added my headphones. I also really love this pastel blue in my coat. I feel like that also made it a little bit more ballet-esque. And if in another life I was a ballerina, this would definitely be my warm-up outfit. You know what I'm saying? Before wrapping up, I do want to say ballet core really is a good aesthetic if you want to have little accessories that are cheap and easy to style. I know that ballet culture can be kind of a negative thing and have a stigma around it. However, I do think ballet core is an aesthetic for everyone to enjoy and everyone should participate if they want to. That is all for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope that you can have some fun with ballet core this season too. Make sure to follow my Instagram, which is Everything Sydney, and my TikTok, Sid Likes Clothes, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. That's weird.